Ash Ash Everywhere by Jordan Gerald and Brendan Chambers. Ash Ash Everywhere. All the ash was super dusty. All the cars got super rusty. You slept in ash, ate in ash, and even bathed in ash. Ash on the roof, heavy like concrete. Ash on the leaves, wind shakes and give good dusting. Ash on car swipers, not working. Ash, ash, everywhere. You couldn't escape it. It even created its own weather system. Thunder, lightning, and they turned into night. Ash, ash, everywhere. You couldn't escape it. Even the smell from rotten leaves mixed with the ash, oh, so obnoxious. But at last, all was not lost as we got some new land, so we were oh so gracious. Dear John Williams, look out primary school at the beach. People at the beach swimming and playing, playing volleyball, hitting the ball very hard, building sandcastles and eating fried chicken. Yummy, so delicious and finger licking. Down at the beach, the little bay beach. Everybody knows there, having lots of fun. What a good time to be out and about, busting a line. With no volcano on their minds, it's time to laugh, have fun and unwind. Still beautiful, monstrous, still nice. That night, I stared out at the mountain with fright, afraid of the sight I saw late that night. The so-called volcano was fairish red, scaring me right out of my bed and filling me with a sense of dread. It was erupting, spitting out ash and stones with great might. Some thought it was a delight and went sightseeing to watch it glow in the night. The mountain was alive, which sent people running to survive. The southern side was no more. This left everyone feeling deprived. We followed our intuition. We were determined and on a mission to, to make, make the, the northern, northern side our ideal, ideal vision. vision. By Chai Janaya Thomas from the Grades Primary School. Hello little ones and welcome to my soulful sofa. My name is Trishan Renee Love, but since I'm a caring adult, it's much easier for you to just call me Miss Love. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here with you this evening, especially because you know what? My mom was born on the island of Montserrat. Where was your mom born? Do you know? Wow, thank you so much for sharing that with me. <laughs> now, if you have something special that you like to have with you when you're reading, I encourage you to get it now. It can be something like a teddy bear or a blanket, anything. I like to use my rocking reading glasses when I'm reading. And as you can see, I already have them on. And what they do is they help me to see the pictures and read the words as best as I can. Okay, are you ready to read? Amazing, because I know I am. Get comfy, it is listening time. <laughs> so without keeping you waiting any longer, I'm going to get into sharing one of my favorite stories with you. This story is called Naturally Me, and it's written by Crystal Swan Bates. Naturally Me. This book is dedicated to any little boy or girl who could use the occasional reminder that they are just fine the way they naturally are. When I wake up to start my day, 
I stretch my arms, then smile and say, there's no one else I'd rather be. I'm proud to be naturally me. There's really nothing more unique than these six freckles on my cheek. Sometimes I count them one by one and then start over when I'm done. <laughs> my chocolate candy colored skin, the tiny dimple in my chin, this nose, these lips, this hair of mine belong to me and that's just fine. <laughs> Sometimes I like to sing and hum. <laughs> Dance to the beat of my own drum. <sighs> and if I have to sing alone, give me the biggest microphone. <laughs> my golden honey colored skin, long skinny toes, my toothy grin. My teeth, these eyes, these toes of mine belong to me and that's just fine. If everybody looked the same, then that would truly be a shame. How boring everything would be if everybody looked like me. Some days my hair seems so high that it can almost touch the sky. I don't look like Jamie or Pam. I love myself the way I am. If a big genie said to me that he could change my face for free, I'd tell him no, then grab my horn and yell, I love how I was born. <laughs> At night before I end my day, I close my eyes, then smile and say, there's no one else I'd rather be. I'm proud to be naturally me. <laughs> the end, little ones. And this book is called Naturally Me, and it's written by Crystal Swan Bates. I love reading stories with you. Thank you so much for joining me right here on my soulful sofa. Your great company brought so much love and light to this room. And I love all of your beautiful smiles. <laughs> I'm trusting that this story helps you to realize that being just how you are is just all right. Whether you're short, you're tall, you're big, you're small, you're dark, you're light, it doesn't matter. You're beautiful and your body is just right. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me join you in your homes this evening. And guess what? With this, I will bid you all a good night. Good night, Montserrat. <laughs>